Archangel Fanuel. Yahweh is exposing the so-called prophets in this time. He will not allow the enemy to use people in the church to destroy what or who belongs to him. He provided all with a spiritual telescope that should stir the soul with vivid imagery of distant galaxies in the afterlife. He provided all with discernment and free will to come home to him. The demonic's main goal is to block your ability to use your spiritual telescope, burr your discernment and jade your free will so that you are on a path of destruction instead of a path of salvation. Proverbs 18 verse 17, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. The one who states his case first seems right, until the other comes and examines him. Man is nothing like Yahshua. He was the only perfect entity to ever walk on the face of the earth. Therefore, Yahweh looks at man beyond his gifts and weaknesses. He looks at his heart, character, and personal demeanor. Some people misuse their gifts under the influence of demonic portals. Some of them are in the church. Some people use their religious job titles to hide their wrongs. Understand that people are sinners saved by grace, not wholly saved by grace. Yahweh says woe be unto them that lead my people astray. They will have their just rewards. Do not follow them or fall into their demonic situations, for none is exempt without proper atonement. Every person on earth should take this statement seriously. Remember, you are responsible and will be held accountable for your own actions and sins. What someone else does shouldn't influence you to choose not to know Yahweh personally. Their sins are on them. You have a birth-given choice to do right and not wrong. People need to start doing better and make safer choices. Breaking every rule that Yahweh has laid out for mankind is spiritually falling short. You can't be a prayer warrior and a senseless fool at the same time. Demons provide access to foolishness, understand that. You must ask yourself what's in their blood. I will tell you, it's colonization, mass shootings, pedophilia, racism, prejudice, homosexuality, libel, enslavement, carnality, blasphemy and complete disobedience to the dominion and will of Yahweh. The same demonic entities that were responsible for all wars in history are the same demons that are responsible for all the problems man is experiencing today. For jealousy and envy is the rage of a demon, therefore, he will not spare you in the day of vengeance. They have diabolical intelligence. You have to ask for forgiveness for your walk with them. Lucifer, Samuel, does not want forgiveness and will never ask Yahweh for it. He also wishes to keep you from asking for it as well. Always remember suffering, pain, and failing is all for a reason and the devil has everything to do with it. From that reason and difficulty, first comes the question why, after that comes self-realization of where you stand. The final part of suffering is the awakening to what our reality really is. If we can walk our line in being authentic, every impossibility becomes possible. The final part is understanding that your emotions are not real if they are going against the will of Yahweh. It's the demonic effect on your mind to make you feel that your immediate emotion to be disobedient to Yahweh is all real just because of you don't like what Yahweh is asking you to do. Understanding this will help grow past the mind of Lucifer. Only then will your awakening begin. You cannot be in the presence of Yahweh until your mind, heart and soul is right. Angels were created without free will. They submit to God at all times and do anything he asks in a moment's notice without questions. Some of the first angels questioned Yahweh. They said, Oh Lord, why would you create a being that can destroy and wreck havoc anywhere they go, when we praise and glorify you in our every step? Yahweh answered simply, I know that which you do not know. Yahweh taught Adam the name of all things and the name of the angels and things that some of the angels themselves did not know. They were bound to Adam and impressed by his ability to learn. They were also then told to prostrate to Adam and they did immediately. Samuel was with them and was under the same order as well. Man was made of clay and fire, this angered Samuel because he was a being, made of fire, also. 
He said to Yahweh, Man isn't an angel. Yahweh told him to prostrate in front of Adam. He refused and told God, Why would I ever prostrate to a being you made from clay, when I am made of fire and I am the better creation? Man and you should bow down to me. He directly disobeyed God's direct order. Never does Yahweh say he wouldn't forgive Samuel. It's the devil's pride and arrogance that stops his repentance. If he had one true moment of repentance Yahweh would probably forgive him. God is the most merciful, the most gracious entity there is. Instead, Samuel told Yahweh as you have damned me to hell on the day of judgment, I will persuade as many humans as I can to damnation as well. There are very few sins that Yahweh will not forgive if you sincerely atone while you have a chance. However, the sin of believing in polytheism as well as suicide are two sins to stay away from. Lucifer makes false promises and deceives. On the day of judgment, those that were misguided will say, It was you who damned us here. Lucifer will reply, No I made you a promise on earth, you chose to follow me not Yahweh. I successfully misguided in any way I could. At the end of the day, you can only enter paradise through Yahweh's permission and bounty. One can be entirely free of sin, and not enter because of their ill intention, but one can kill 100 people and seriously repent and be allowed to enter. God says he will resolve all of your disputes and quarrels on the day the trumpet is blown. On that day, the believers' faces they will glow, while the faces of the disbelievers will be darkened to reveal who they really are. Repent, and seek Yahweh now. While you still have breath in your bodies.